South African Music Award winning musician and superstar Togo Zombambo has released a new song titled Imisebenzi Yako in November. The song is a positive uplifting hymn to God's wondrous deeds. Uh, it acts as an introduction to her eagerly awaited album, which will be released this month. That's April. Now, for more on this, she joins us live right now. Sister Togo, a welcome to the South African Morning. I imagine this is busy time for you, Easter period and gospel music go hand in hand. Yeah. You are booked and busy. <laughs> Where do we find you? Let's start right there. Oh, well, yesterday I was in church, in my own church, in right. Gatle Hong Change Bible Church. Um, today I'm actually um, at the stadium in Soweto, Grace Bible Church has a concert there. Sure. And then tomorrow I'm actually in Cape Town. So it has been a crazy, hectic weekend, but I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving the celebrations. I'm loving the excitement, getting to see people as well, um, joining in the celebration of Christ and, and his death and And of course, I mean, this year in particular is a different uh, Good Friday, Easter weekend, so to speak, because we've just come from previously two years of lockdown. Yeah. So, I mean, the year before that, we weren't allowed to go to church. <laughs> And, you know, it, it was a slow easing back into the norm, if yeah. you will. So how's the gospel scene for you post the pandemic and now? What do things look like for you? Oh, man, I think um, it's, it's, it's really exciting, you know, um, getting to church and seeing people um, all over again, you know, packed in our churches. Yeah. And just the excitement as well and the exhilarating um, um, feeling of, of worshipping together, you know. Um, scripture says actually that where there is unity, God commands a blessing. Right. And it's so beautiful seeing the body of Christ gathering together in unity, um, worshipping together. And also just, you know, just being our crazy selves and dancing in the presence of the Lord. It really is beautiful. And also getting to see people actually coming back to church once again. It really is amazing. And there's a lot of dancing that happens. I mean, I was at Raymond Bible <laughs> Church just last weekend. I think I was on my feet for a good hour and I didn't even <laughs> feel it. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Talk to me about some of the projects that you're working on at the moment. Yeah, um, well actually my album is released, it was released last month, that's, so that's my brand new album called Lavish Worship, um, that is the exciting thing that's happening in my life right now, um, uh, it's, it's, it really is a beautiful album full of worship and mm. praise, giving thanks to God for all the things that he's done, um, you know post COVID everybody suffered loss, um, we've been through grief, we've been through hell and high waters, right. but the fact that we're still standing, still able able to breathe um, you know and and still lift up our hands and say thank you Jesus that I'm still alive and well and that is just what the album is about it's about us gathering together and just thanking God for his goodness in our lives and I imagine the Imi Sebin Ziyako single um, talks about that right um, for us as South Africans we are experiencing in real time and going through a lot of difficulty yeah. So sometimes we will look to gospel music, um, you know, prayer uh, or meditation for some for inspiration, if you will, or to just get us through. Is that what you are addressing in the song, Imi Sebin um, absolutely. You know, sometimes we we get so fixated on the big and the glamorous and mm. the and the big dreams that we have, and then when they, that doesn't happen, then we kind of um, you know get a little d depressed or, or or anxious about it. You sure. know. But whereas with Imi Seven Yako, I actually wrote it while I was just in the car with my with my family, my husband and my children in the back, and we were driving along the coast of Durban, and I yeah. was just my heart was just filled with gratitude that you know what I may not be exactly where I want to be, right? But being in this moment, just being surrounded by family, by love, and you know the peace of God as well, and I was just filled with gratitude at that moment, and then I was like, you know, Lord, Imi Seven Ziako really does um, amaze us. You know, we're just grateful that I'm still alive I'm well I've got family my children are behind me laughing excitement you know it's just those little things that just keep us going and that's where um, that song came from and does the family get involved in your songwriting process <laughs> or did they just happen to be present 
in that moment when they were in the car with you? My husband definitely, because he's the producer of it all. But my children as well. I, I always ask my kids um, when I write when I write a song, or um, even with this album, I sure. had to get their approval first, um, yes. um, so that I don't embarrass them. <laughs> right. And they have their favorite um, as well. So they were the ones who said, "Okay, mommy, this is our favorite," and then that was it. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll make sure that one's in there. And the beautiful thing about getting opinions from the children is because they are unfiltered and they are the most honest beings. Absolutely, brutally honest. Right? <laughs> Let's talk about just Nje, what's coming up for you as a brand for 2023. Yes, we are in the Easter weekend now, but I imagine there is a, a forward thinking or a strategy in place for the rest of 2023. Absolutely. Um, you know, um, about a week ago or two weeks back, I actually did um, launch my album in Durban on, on the Friday and in Joburg on the Saturday, yeah. um, on the 24th and the 25th of March. And um, we had crazy um, outpouring of people who came through and um, we really had a wonderful time together and we made sure that we captured those moments um, right. of the launch. So I'm also going to be releasing that footage later on in the year so that people get the live experience of Lavish Worship album and that is something that I'm really really excited about. And the reception from just the congregates, other uh, worshippers as well, um, who are experiencing the new music that you've just shared with them, what's that like? Oh man, it's absolutely beautiful, you know, because when you're creative and you put a body of work together, you know, you, you pour your heart and your soul and everything that you have into it. And um, when you have to release that out in the world, it almost feels like you're being vulnerable and you're, you're almost naked because yes. everybody gets to see a piece of you and a part of you um, that you've kept to yourself. And um, getting to release that almost feels like you're releasing your own baby out into the world and and that is prone to scrutiny and, right. and criticism um, but you know with this one it was just an outpouring of love and I'm just really grateful to everybody who's bought the album who has shared what they've um, you know their 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 highs and their favorites um, some people really just have been showing us so much love it really is um, it's overwhelming you know but it, it, it's beautiful at the same time because you're like oh they like it <laughs> <laughs> and that positive reaction is what any artist would want. Um, obviously, we're going to keep you around and you're going to be performing for us. Uh, that is Undogo Zombambo, who's going to be singing Imisebenzi Yako live here on the South African Morning on ENCA. Stay with us.